When I heard my sentence um, of 30 years, I didn't believe it and I refused to believe it. I didn't make no sense to me. I'm, I was like, I'm not going to prison for 30 years. That's crazy. And it took me about a year and a half in prison to realize, no, I'm going to be here for 30 years and this is real. And it was really hard. I've been locked up 18 years and have ran by plenty of females that have been sentenced and never had a traffic ticket in their life. And to just be involved and to catch a conspiracy charge, it can get you life. And that's basically what happened to me. When they read the sentencing, I almost, I went to my knees. I started hyperventilating and um, Missy did too. You know, even then when she was standing there and they told her the sentence, she buckled her and we, we just couldn't believe it. The day that I was sentenced in federal court in Fort Worth, Texas, I was uh, received a sentence of 19 years, seven months. I was, at the time, I was shocked. I could not believe that, you know, something like this was happening in America. The impact of the sentencing, the 15 year sentence, was greatly felt by the family and, and a lot for Bre her son Bradley. Uh, he was only nine years old when this happened, and it's hard to understand. Um, but the whole family has suffered. It, people don't realize how that happens when one person goes to prison, how it trickles down, and uh, when she's not there for the holidays. And uh, it's been it's been pretty rough. My viewpoint on the uh, mandatory minimum sentences is we don't need to have mandatory minimum sentences because every, every situation is different, every person is different, you know, no, no case is exactly the same. The best thing about being home is me just being free, to just be home and to relax. And I mean, I've only been home two years, but it still seems unreal, you know, with the sentence that I had. Sometimes I just sit and just look up, you know, look at the sky and listen to the birds. And I mean, it's a blessing to just be home amongst my family and friends and my kids. Too many people are in prison low-level, non-violent offenders that are serving horrendous, that you're stealing people's lives for a simple mistake that could be fixed in, in, in other manners than locking them up, throwing away the key, and destroying so many lives.